friends a very warm welcome and in this series we are going to have a very very smart and brief discussion on the budget of september you can say that september 2024 because it is reflecting india's journey towards vikshit bharat and uh, the union budget of 24 2024 2025 it is laying out a comprehensive road map and the road map reflects uh, many important initiatives like samarth udyog bharat 4.0 or even pli scheme that is production linked incentive scheme to boost the manufacturing sector uh, mansi uh, what we want the share of manufacture till 2025 so what 25, is the 25% 25% and uh, what is the approximately you know uh, comprehensive skill development ka jo hamara goal hai kitne million youth ka goal hai i think it's 10 crore 2 crore 2 crore <laughs> Two millions, two, two millions. Continue. And how many ITIs? How many ITIs through hub and spoke model are to be, you know, they are to be ready? How many? Okay. Do you have no idea, sir? Thousand. No, thousand. वो जो थाउजेंड अपने आईटीआईज हैं, दे आर गोइंग टू शो अस द वे फॉरवर्ड। बिकॉज़ इट हैज़ टू बी वेरी प्रैक्टिकल एंड वेरी मच अप्रोच ओरिएंटेड। मानसी अगर पूछा जाए कि पब्लिक फाइनेंस एंड डेवलपमेंट, इन कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ़ पब्लिक फाइनेंस एंड डेवलपमेंट Please evaluate India's budgetary priorities. Clear evaluate. So in public finance. So so here we are focusing upon fiscal consolidation in terms of public finance. So government is focusing upon reducing the share of external debt in this. Like recently also we were talking about that it is five percent share. So FRBM Act is going to play important role. So we are focusing upon extremely upon the fiscal consolidation aspect, and within that raising the tax revenue, so making this model more self sustainable via increasing the tax base instead of government changing the tax rate. Mm. And this is one. This is this is one. Uh, this is one approach. And Then, uh, what it is targeting, like what it is targeting, what the budget is targeting. So reduction of fiscal deficit. No, no. budget is targeting employment generation skilling msme support balanced regional development you can say all these things are being targeted by budget so public finance is also oriented towards these areas promoting natural farming hmm. directly Correct. talking about tax Correct. revenue gst reform so one area of public finance is productivity and resilience in agriculture So, what is the percentage of population which is dependent in terms of livelihood? It's forty-six percent. And what is the contribution in GDP? It's close to sixty percent, but that has been reduced off year, not sixty. It's close to fifty percent. Eighteen percent, sir. GDP. Eighteen and sixteen per. Eighteen percent, correct. Uh, and what about uh, what about the high yielding? How many high yielding and climate resistant? Tent resident variety. How many? Oh, should be thousands. Thousands? Too too much, yar. Thousand is too much. High yielding varieties. High yielding varieties. Ashik, how many? How many around? It should be in hundreds. Hundred ten. Three hundred is not. Hundred and ten only. Hundred. When we speak about promotion of natural farming, that is Bharatiya Prakritik Krishi Padhati, so the budget is proposing to initiate and support one crore farmers into natural farming over next two years, and it is setting up ten thousand need-based bio input resource centers. Ten thousand. So, Mansi, what is one thing is very important to make them successful? the first would be awareness generation regarding the benefits of going ahead with the natural based farm okay or should any one point so it is bio input the first would be 
capacity building of the farmers regarding mm. the farm input, seed acts what quality of the seed needs to be regulated mm. and if uh, in adequate knowledge apparatus is provided them, do them or not under the kishan vidyan kendra etc sachin Bio. india how sachin india kaise pulses or oils ke production mein self sufficient ho sakta hai kaise तो प्रोडक्शन की स्टेज पे हम बोल सकते हैं कि साइंटिफिक मेथड्स को इंप्लीकेट करके और फिर पोस्ट हार्वेस्ट लॉसेस को कम करके ओके एंड व्हाट अबाउट डिजिटल पब्लिक इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन एग्रीकल्चर ऑशिक सर डिजिटल पब्लिक इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर it is applicable to all the areas in the backward and forward linkage regarding agriculture right from the uh, procurement of the seed to uh, reduction of the farm waste for example enam for example the kishan vigyan kendra common service center which can be used kishan helpline all these aspects are there k k then um, kishan id kcc kishan credit card all these aspect a very much important go to the digital public regarding agriculture mansi jab hum baat karte hain internship internships at the top companies abhi humne baat ki ji sir 21 to 24 year age group ke liye 5 saal uh, you know 5 years ka jo matlab ye chalega internship 5 saal nahi chalegi 5 uh, saal tak ye scheme chalegi aur uh, india ke top company mein interns ko 5000 rupees monthly allowance milega ek saal ke liye aur government jo hai wo 54000 annually अलाउंस की तरफ पे करेगी एंड सिक्स थाउजेंड टूअर्स इंसिडेंटल्स के लिए पे करेगी कंपनी भी कंट्रीब्यूट करेंगे सिक्स थाउजेंड रुपीज मंथली और ट्रेनिंग कॉस्ट को भी बियर करेंगे थ्रू सी एस आर फंड तो कौन पहली बात तो ये किसको किस तरह के जो मतलब किस तरह का सेगमेंट आपको लगता है विल बी मोर अट्रैक्टिव टूअर्ड्स इट वट आर द प्रोज एंड कॉन्स वट आर द चैलेंजेस एंड हाउ टू मेक इट सक्सेसफुल सो द मेजर सेगमेंट दैट वुड गेट अट्रैक्टेड वुड बी दो स्किल्ड people or the people working the low skill jobs mm. so youth secondly youth can also get attracted to this who are we are talking about we can tackle the mm. structural unemployment as, aspect mm. in india mm. so that can be one of the benefits out of this and so skills training human resource leveraging on the demographic dividend solving the problem of unemployment like overall if we talk about broadly okay and, और बताइए सो बट पर्टिकुलरली अगेन इट वुड बी फोकसिंग मोर अपॉन दी सर्विसेज सेक्टर सो प्राइवेट कंपनीज व्हिच आर मोर इन दी सर्विसेज सेक्टर ऑशिक एनी मोर पॉइंट व्हिच इज मिसिंग सो फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट इज अ कैपिटल रिक्वायरमेंट व्हिच इज बीइंग गिवन अंडर द प्राइवेट सेक्टर इट इज लेस एडिक्वेट एज कंपेयर टू द एज कंपेयर टू द रिक्वायर्ड अमाउंट 5000 पर मंथ इज इट इज लेस ठीक है आंसर सेकंड वुड बी अ मैंडेटरी प्रोविजन for the private mm-hmm. sector i think it it can lead to the uh, bogus card generation even other aspect which can be used to get subsidies from the government mm-hmm. as the third would be sir if the required skill training it is much more suitable to the market job or not it is mm-hmm. another question all this good points uh, critical bola aur mansik critical element aapko bhi leke aana chahiye tha ek do my other critical element is that इट इज मोस्टली अट्रैक्टिंग टीयर टू टीयर थ्री से आएगा पहली बात तो एंड देन सेकेंडली देर वुड बी यू नो फीमेल जो है वो अगर शहर भी आती है या कम, तो उनका आना जाना उनका रहना दो जो ऑपरेशनल चैलेंजेस है दो मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फाइनेंस इज ऑल्सो कंस्ट्रक्टिंग यू नो फीमेल होस्टल जिसे कहना चाहिए और कोशिश करेंगे वो और जो अभी आपने बोला दैट लिटिल बिट मोर मनी वुड है we have to see that uh, how it can be made sustainable that is very very important so critical element se batana hai aapko sochna chahiye to key initiatives agar main baat karu jo human capital development aur social justice ke liye hain aushik bataiye human capital element and social justice hmm, human capital yes. so uh, so uh, under the development of a skill Skill mm-hmm. intermission is there for the human mm-hmm. capital. Then the mm-hmm. National Career Service Program is there is there so that the uh, required 
adequate jobs can be given and can be found online with the help of the platform national career service then sir uh, regarding the social sector e shram portal it is there so that uh, uh, an an organized sector can be incorporated into it okay apart from that sir iti training as well as uh, focusing on capacity building regarding atal incubation center okay. nrf national research foundation for the research and Aren't development koi missing points koi scheme so employment incentive scheme recently launched by the government in the recent ek purodaya purodaya scheme aayi hai eastern india ke liye jisme culture tradition aur resources ki baat ki gayi wo aapne nahi bola वुमन लेड डेवलपमेंट पे फोकस करने की बात है प्रधानमंत्री जनजातीय उन्नत ग्राम अभियान जिसमें फाइव करोड़ ट्राइबल पीपल जो हमने पहले डिटेल में बात भी की थी अभी प्रधानमंत्री जनजातीय उन्नत ग्राम अभियान ट्राइबल कम्युनिटीज के लिए वो आपको बोलना चाहिए था देन इंडिया पोस्ट पेमेंट बैंक वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नॉर्थ ईस्ट में स्पेशली फोकस करेगा बस इतना होने से हो जाता वेन वी स्पीक अबाउट मैनुफेक्चरिंग सेक्टर मानसी what are the provisions and what are the areas in order to enhance credit availability and reduce compliance burdens and to provide technical support ek point batao do matlab can give me a couple of points please so in the manufacturing sector firstly make in india program that is directly shaping the for, ecosystem secondly so production lend incentive scheme is there for msmes i am asking MS- उनको न्यू असेसमेंट मॉडल इज देयर ताकि अच्छे से उनको स्ट्रीम लाइन किया जा सके एंड देर इज समिंग कॉल ट्रेड रिसीवेबल्स डिस्काउंटिंग सिस्टम ट्रेड्स ट्रेड्स वो आपने नहीं बताया मानसी बस इतना ही बताना था वेन वी स्पीक अबाउट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग जैसे अब इंडस्ट्रियल पार्क बोलते हैं आप देन डिजिटल पब्लिक इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इज मैंडेटरी टू स्पीक एवरीवेयर पीएलआई आपने बोली दिया एज अर्बन फॉर अर्बन डेवलपमेंट ऑफ शीट ट्रांजिट ओरियंटेड डेवलपमेंट एंड रीडेवलपमेंट के लिए बताइए so for urban development uh so important schemes with regarding to that is pm uday okay uh, for the slum rehabilitation program or it is there then sir the smart cities other mission. than that uh, smart city mission then uh, amrut amrut mission and or clean water accessibility that is jal jal shakti and swachh bharat abhiyan urban it is there then role of uh, spv ha huh? we have to discuss under the smart city mission so like we have the national rural mission we have the national urban mission hmm. okay. energy security ki agar hum baat kare karuna so solar energy is important no important to the scheme ka naam batao so one is regarding surya grah grah ki ghar surya ghar सूर्य घर मुफ्त बिजली योजना पंप स्टोरेज पॉलिसी एंड स्मॉल एंड मॉड्यूलर न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर्स एंड देन वी आल्सो स्पीक अबाउट एडवांस अल्ट्रा सुपर क्रिटिकल थर्मल पावर प्लांट्स इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर में आवश्यक गति शक्ति इट इज मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट वन हंड्रेड एंड इलेवन लाख करोड़ इट इज बीन इन्वेस्टेड then so dedicated freight corridor infrastructure mm-hmm. apart from that smart city mission under mm-hmm. the infrastructure project mm-hmm. then, then industrial corridor across india in several mm-hmm. build mm-hmm. so uh, donor that is department of north east is focusing mm-hmm. on infrastructure development in north east for example mm-hmm. role of bro in the border areas regarding the uh, strategic areas connectivity in the strategic area atal tunnel then zro tunnel we have discussed yesterday okay so uh, the golden corridor golha sagar mala project mm-hmm. port development 
for example Bichuan port then uh, in uh, Vizium port I think Vizium port in Kochi. Mm -hmm. Mansi when you speak about inclusive human resource development and social justice inclusive human resource development hota kya hai? inclusive human resource development and how it is linked with social justice so inclusive human resource development would focus upon equitable skills training so skill india mission then including the role of women like stand up india mission is there then the mudra yojana for availability of working capital for finance related to entrepreneurship that's there so Okay. Employment links incentives you have told us. Employment hmm. incentive scheme. Then job creation in manufacturing. Incentives to employ incentivizes employers to hire first time employees in manufacturing sector by covering a portion of their EPFO contributions. Correct? Yes. Social justice and what is saturation approach? The saturation approach uh, and it's linked with the social justice is that achieving the maximum possible potential when the schemes are implemented. So achieving that saturation level so that again no one is left behind. So it includes again good governance or effective implementation. So I think that is the saturation level and the idea behind it. approach as you said it is uh, aiming to cover all eligible individuals mm. uh, under various government schemes Jeez. so that no errors are there pradhan mantri garib kalyan anna yojana jaise 80 crore logon ko jo dene ki baat hai wo isi ka approach hai to rate pura kar do you know no stone is unturned and what about women led development So again, increasing participation in the MSME, so the schemes working there would be important. Uh, then self-help groups is important for women-led development. And then, so as I just stated, like Mudra Yojana is there, Stand Up India scheme is there. So more formalization. Okay. How much do you think that uh, employment opportunities will be much more through employment incentives, employment-linked incentives, as we just said, Employment linked incentives are very important to employers, to employees, and so on. And as we just said, it uh, the you know first timers ke liye baat kiya, and uh, job creation in manufacturing is a very very vital thing. We uh, we have already been discussing about it. Support to employers ki baat ki, services to labor ki baat ki, and uh, shram suvidha and samadhan portal ki bhi baat ki. So in sab pe uh, give your you know positively comment. Positively, you comment on it. Sir, it would be providing... After the Roshik will speak on this. Sir, sir, it would be providing job security along with like we are seeing social security benefits. So, one stability would be there when it comes to the employment opportunities and also simultaneously it will be helping us in reducing the frictional unemployment aspect and the structural unemployment. So that can be one of the important aspects. And uh, apart from this, uh, skills training simultaneously, that is another positive factor which is related to this thing. So according to me, these are the important or the positive angles. Related. So regarding the employment generation and also the social security, eSRAM portal or even uh, Samadhan portal, it is there so that the unorganized sector can be formalized and their grievances can be addressed in a very effective manner. Then uh, apart from that, uh, focusing on market based approach regarding the joints, jointness between the government initiative as well as the whole private sector, uh, it is being promoted. This is third would be um, um, Upskilling and reskilling of the jobs regarding the new demands, for example, artificial intelligence or machine learning will be done, sir, with the this.
so but the question arises if the scaling it is equitable or if it is uh, inclusive for all or not for that stem education program for example uh, for example kiran mission it is being promoted to include women stem graduate further uh, stand up india program which solely focuses on scst and women uh, related stand, stand up schemes and sir uh, third would be uh, capacity building of the vanavishan society for example pm janman it is there for that tribal mm hmm on tribal youth manse if we say that salaries class and consumers they are the key to vikshit bharat kaise so salaries class and consumers consumers they are the key to vikshit bharat kaise so as we say that indian economy is a consumption driven economy so increasing the per capita income through this mechanism would be one of the positive uh, benefits which would lead to increase in aggregate demand in the economy so that can fuel more of production and this virtual cycle can become self sustaining so that's how it can positively contribute to the increased gdp growth and achieving viksit bharat goal so increasing again more of we can say growth particularly in the fmcg sector or even in the the electrical goods industry so that can be the benefits and why not why? sir it will also help in increasing the savings rate as well so savings can be channelized into investment later on why you are not bringing the idea like you know raising the standard deduction changing tax labs सर so, आपने पूछा ना फॉर सैलरीड क्लास तो सैलरीड क्लास का इम्पोर्टेंट रोल क्या है तो सर तो गवर्नमेंटल मेजर्स हो गए ना कि स्टैंडर्ड डिरेक्शन ना तो गवर्नमेंट का मतलब आप सारा ही बता दो गवर्नमेंट का भी रोल है बाहर मतलब बोथ वेज वी कैन स्पीक इट अप नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम अगर हम <laughs> बात करें प्रोडक्टिविटी एंड रेजिलियंस इन एग्रीकल्चर कौशिक हाँ सर वट इज दैट थ्री आई इन एग्रीकल्चर So I have to guess the three mm. I. So mm. first would be innovation, mm. then inclusive, mm. and third would be so inti- integrated. Ah, बोलो मानसी. The third can be intelligence. I think it's integration. I think it would be. Karuna, आप बोलो. हमेशा के लिए रट लो इंडिया इज हैविंग वन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड लार्जेस्ट एग्रीकल्चर रिसर्च एक्सटेंशन एंड एजुकेशन नेटवर्क लेकिन फाइन ट्यून करना है उसको औशिक कैसे yes sir so uh, so increasing the role of the nrf it is first step for example 1 lakh crore has been provided into it second would be sir role of private sector as well as mu with the important institution in india for example icr icmr even agriculture university in india and as well as iit nit etc they can collaborate to achieve uh, the goals of innovation in india and important institution with regarding to this is pm stack hmm stac hmm. science and technology advisory st a c k stack c k agri stack no sir pm s t i c a k so wo aapka kuch aur bol rahe hain aap main aapko teen cheeze bata raha hu pm stack so prime minister science and technology advisory council ek tarah se wo innovate innovation jo bhi hota hai usme wo help karte hain इंडिया के अंदर में नहीं डिजिटल पब्लिक इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर जब हम बात करते हैं एग्रीकल्चर की डिजिटल पब्लिक इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन एग्रीकल्चर या फॉर एग्रीकल्चर उसमें तीन कंपोनेंट क्या है सर फर्स्ट कंपोनेंट इज एक्सेसिबिलिटी ऑफ द एरिया देन से सेकंड वुड बी ट्रांसपेरेंसी एंड थर्ड वुड बी रिगार्डिंग ग्रीवेंस रिलेटेड कंपोनेंट कंपोनेंट बोला मैंने डिजिटल पब्लिक इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर का 
पहला कंपोनेंट है एग्री स्टैक दूसरा कंपोनेंट है कृषि डीएसएस तीसरा है कृषि मैपर इतना बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है प्लीज मेक ए नोट एंड नॉट टू फोगेट एंड ब्रिंग इट इन योर डिस्कशन आई रिपीट एक है आपका एग्री स्टैक दूसरा है कृषि डीएसएस और तीसरा है कृषि मैपर तो एग्री स्टैक क्या करेगा एग्री स्टैक जो है रजिस्ट्री की तरह डेटा बेस है वो हर एक हर एक जो एग्रीकल्चर में टेक्नोलॉजी यूज होते हैं वो स्टैक एक तरह से उससे आईडी बन जाएंगे जियो टैग फार्मिंग हो जाएगी क्रॉप वन डेटा हो जाएगा डिजिटल फॉर्मेट में और कृषि डीएस क्या है कृषि डीएस इज कृषि डिसीजन सपोर्ट सिस्टम डीएसएस वो स्टोर करेगा डेटा को रिमोट सेंसिंग डेटा को वेदर डेटा को सॉइल डेटा को कि क्या कब उगाना है क्या होना चाहिए गवर्नमेंट स्कीम का भी डेटा वहीं आ जाएगा इसलिए उसका नाम ही वही है कृषि डिसीजन सपोर्ट सिस्टम और तीसरा आपका के है कृषि मैपर कृषि मैपर क्या करेगा जियो पैशियल मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन है वो सॉइल फर्टिलिटी बताएगा अपने आप को किसान मानोगे तब समझ पाओगे इसको कोई याद नहीं कर सकता इसको वरना ऐसे किसान मान लो भूखे नंगे अगर जान दे देंगे अगर ढंग से काम नहीं होगा तब जाके समझ में आएगा कि हाँ भारत माता के लिए कुछ करना है तब हम मुझे अपनी खेती अच्छी करनी है तब आप क्या करेंगे भाई मुझे कौन सा फसल उगाना है मैं कहाँ जाऊँ स्कीम कौन सी है तब आप एग्री स्टैक को डाउनलोड करोगे या कृषि डीएसएस को या कृषि मैपर को डाउनलोड करोगे और के जो हो गया आपका डिजिटल टूल है वो कि क्रॉप कितना होगा क्रॉप यील्ड कितना होगा तो इवोल्यूशन हो गया इंडिया का बहुत रॉबर सिस्टम है दिस मस्ट बी टेकन अप फर्दर और हमने पहले भी चर्चा की थी फूड प्रोसेसिंग के थ्रू फिशरीज और फॉरेक्स और इन सब की फॉर एग्जांपल नबार्ड बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट रोल प्ले करता है एंड नेटवर्क ऑफ न्यूक्लियस ब्रीडिंग सेंटर्स श्रिम्प श्रिम्प के लिए अगर हम एग्जाम्पल दे रहा हूं मैं आपको श्रिम्प के लिए बात हो रही है थोड़ा सा मतलब इंटरेस्ट के साथ हमें देखना पड़ेगा पॉलीचीडेट वॉर्म्स होते हैं श्रेम्स होते हैं फिश फीड होता है फिश फीड हम तो वहां तक जाते ही नहीं है सोचते होते कि फिश फीड के लिए भी कुछ हो रहा होगा क्या देन ओनली यू कैन क्रैक द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव कोड और इनोवेशन रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट के बिना तो नहीं हो सकता है वो भी बजट बात करता है उसका डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है न्यू मिशन बताए हैं So, Ashik, can you throw some light on the private sector role? So, private sector role in agriculture. Private sector role in R and D in terms of science and technology development. Yes, sir. Private sector role. Social science and development. Yes, sir. So. private sector they have their own incubation center within the specific one uh, company which uh, which is funded through csr program the second would be the all the project many of the project it is used by uh, it is used as a source of consulting with the important institutions institutions such as iits etc so third would be adult tinkering lab and incubation so that there is a uh, connectivity between the demands that is needed for the research at and also the input that is being given by the uh, private sector regarding this so the important institution are sir tata uh, tiss tirf apart from that others are there Okay, Manthi, can you add some points to it? So uh, again, private sector can play important role in intellectual property rights, hmm. releasing a more research paper law. So like India share is very less. मैन वी गो टू एनर्जी सिक्योरिटी इन दैट कॉन्टेक्स्ट औशिक मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ पावर सेज दैट फिफ्टी फोर परसेंट ऑफ इंडिया पावर कम फ्रॉम थर्मल रिसोर्सेज वाइल फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम नॉन फॉर्चुन रिसोर्सेज तो उस एंगल से बताइए थोड़ा ओवरव्यू दीजिए हाँ सर सर 
India has a goal of achieving 500 gigawatt of energy production by 2030 from the renewable source of energy. For that, India is focusing on the conventional renewable source of energy. For example, solar it is there, hydropower it is there. It is re recently solar production, I think it is cross 86 to 90 gigawatt in the longer run. It, it is using several schemes to improve all the renewable source of energy in several areas. For example, uh, hydropower, solar, had green hydrogen mission in hydrogen uh, production, then biomethane, then uh, ocean thermal, geothermal, as well as nuclear mission. And in solar, the focus is on both backward and forward linkages, that is establishing of the important factories, industries, for example, role of semiconductor, it is there, silicon wafer, it is a solar, making India program, PLI, it is there. We are focusing on diversification of solar wafer from mm -hmm. the rather, rather than focusing on China, that is 90% import, we are moving towards Southeast Asia and others. Yeah. Or co Sir, sir. Solar may we are also focusing on research, for example, pyroxide solar cell. And also solar it is required, then we have we are focusing on battery technology, lithium ion, sodium ion, and even water pump based battery technology. Then say hydropower, we are uh, focusing on large hydropower that is for example under the dam safety act. Then small hydropower also, for example Kal Kaleshwaram uh, lift irrigation project, it is there. So the regard regarding nuclear research, we are uh, we are currently having 6.8 gigawatt of established nuclear program in India, Tarapur, uh, which, which, um, then Kaiga, Naura, Kalapakkam, then uh, um, Kundam Kulam, etc. Then, sir, uh, but India has only pressure heavy water reactor. We are moving towards fast breeder reactor. And in the third stage, we will use thorium that is uh, that is very ab abundant in the Indian uh, coastal line. Then, sir, regarding nuclear research, we are collaborating with the countries for the ITR that is nuclear fusion pro program. But it is not much economic viable till now. We need more research and second that is much more affordable that is SMR. So this budget also focuses on SMR, small nautical research in nuclear that is less than 300 gigawatt, 300 megawatt. And as so regarding hydropower, I have missed that India is also strengthening the relationship between the Himalayan countries, for example, Nepal, Bhutan and etc. 10,000 megawatt. You want to add something once to it? Yes, sir. So, when you talk about Different. the international, hmm, international cooperation, so India is the pioneer for international solar alliance or when you talk about the one nation, one world, one grid. So, that is also uh, talking about the interconnecting with the, the international solar grid or the electricity grid and particularly in case of if we are seeing like 54% is from the thermal power. So, India's stand is phasing down of the usage of coal and not phase out. So, in this also, because it is going to be a gradual transition, so India is focusing initially upon the green coal. So, even here, like we are talking about implementation of ESG or in terms of like the, the mining activities that are being promoted, how that can be made environmentally more sustainable. So, in, environment impact assessment of the mines that are being uh, auctioned. So, we are seeing that for a certain time period, the share of thermal power plants is going to increase according to different like uh, agencies which have stated this thing. Like in mines also recently, we have allowed the captive mines to connect or supply electricity to, to the main grid. India is also focusing on behavior approach that is adoption of the renewable source of energy by giving them incentive as well as giving them giving them uh, giving them priority for example reverse purchase obligation it is there regarding the distribution con discom companies power in the power sector second of all priam surya yojana surya uh, yojana rooftop solar power it is there the, the consumer can also sell their electricity extra electricity to a grid and get some form of profit or remuneration. And third one is a PM Kushum that is focusing on a uh, solar pump. It is there. Then sir, apart from that, uh, silicon wafer and other aspects are under the PLI scheme. So that all these things can be included. 
recently sir important milestone have been achieved in the uh, luxury region where india has established first desalination plant and as well as ocean thermal power plant so Hmm. So we can go for uh, you know these ideas and facts. We can also, as we already said about you know there is a venture between joint venture between NTPC and uh, Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited to create 800 megawatt commercial plant using ultra super critical technology. So energy efficiency की बात करते हैं और साथ में आप location के साथ आप लेते आइए उनको कि क्या allocations हैं हो सकती है that's all what we can say as far as energy is concerned. ठीक है काफी points हमने cover किए इसके अंदर and then we speak about infrastructure development fiscal intervention that is very important word fiscal intervention is very very important when we speak about infrastructure development manthi so in this like uh, when it comes to financial aspect and the infrastructural development so alternative investment funds hybrid funds are again these are the major areas which we are seeing are getting more popularized in terms of finance availability then sir fdi in that to particularly greenfield fdi is being promoted or being attracted mm. so in this we are talking about promoting ease of doing business so that compliance burden gets reduced so for uh, we can labor correct, people, yes uh, you can start talking about first of all uh, you know key infrastructure initiatives and allocation system capex bada diya gaya hai basically 5 saal mein capex bahut bada hai 3.4% of gdp hai highest ever in the last few decades very very important then roadways ki baat hai bharat mala pariyojana hai railways ki baat hai largest railway network in the world then waterways we have to speak about pm gati shakti space infrastructure mein bhi hum bol sakte hain ha sir gsl psv and apart from that role of msme and private sector also included and hmm. tracks and tracks then sky route in commercialization of space commercial energy infrastructure we have been speaking renewable sector also we have been speaking i think these points we have to bring in when we speak about infrastructure or way forward ki jab hum baat karte hain 2047 ke liye tab bhi hame wohi dekhna pade and when we speak about manufacturing and service schemes facts data and future plans must also come to our mind direct jaise samarth udyog 4.0 samarth this increase in capacity building of the samarth samarth banana to msme sector another yes. aspect samarth advanced manufacturing hmm. to manse agar hum baat kare uh, iski apna samarth udyog सेंटर्स बने हैं 4.0 के लिए न्यू न्यू मैकेनिज्म्स हमने डेवलप किए हैं ऐसे में इसकी बात हमने अभी भी की थी तो वी हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट सर्विस सेक्टर जो है वो सिर्फ डोमिनेंट कंट्रीब्यूटर ही नहीं है मैग्नेट है एक तरीके से ग्रोथ रेट भी 9 परसेंट के आसपास है आईटी फाइनेंस बैंकिंग दे आर द की एरिया एफ डी आई भी सबसे ज्यादा सर्विस सेक्टर में ही आता है एज पर डी पी आई आई टी नॉलेज बेस्ड सर्विस इंडिया की हैं तो लेकिन उसके लिए आपको स्मार्ट सिटीज क्लीन इंडिया डिजिटल इंडिया ये आपको सब सक्सेसफुल करना पड़ेगा विदाउट उसके नहीं होगा सो वी आवर आंसर मस्ट ऑल्सो भी वेरी प्रैक्टिकल टूडे द वे यू नो अशिक गेव सर्टिन पॉइंट देवर रियली अप्रिशिएटेड इट मेक्स मी हैप्पी रिलैक्स कि हाँ भाई सोच तो वैसे ही रहे हैं बाकी तो देर आर फैक्ट्स एंड आइडियाज विच यू बीन टेकिंग अप मैन्युफैक्चरिंग में हमने बात की थी और हमने एक ओवरऑल पूरा डिस्कशन किया कि कैसे बजट के अंदर नारी शक्ति की बात करें मानसी तो नारी शक्ति में आप क्या बोलोगे नारी शक्ति में आप क्या बोलेंगे मोमेंटम टू नारी शक्ति कैसे मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट इज सेफ्टी ऑफ वुमेन फिर then so skill training or capacity building uh, women so oh, you, you, you can be more specific like 30 crore mudra yojana loans and so financial needs role of women in higher education kitna bada enrollment in stem hmm. then self help groups drone didi lakpati didi aise bologe na hmm. 
all we have to take up and please revise and go through the session mm-hmm. again make your own notes and uh, let's get going thank you very much